Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use a plunger to unclog a toilet. In this video tutorial, I'll be going over the basic steps for properly using a plunger, just like this one, to unclog a toilet. All right, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So as you can see, this is the plunger that I will be using. Um, however, there's another type of plunger that also has an added uh, part over here that extends out, and this is gonna work the same for that plunger. Uh, there are different trains of thought with regards to which one to use, but to be honest with you, this is gonna work no matter which type of plunger you're using. What you want to do is you want to take the plunger and you see there is an opening here. You want this opening to essentially go around the drain hole in there. So that circle that you see right over there. So you want to get that around that drain hole. And if the plunger has the added extended piece, that's going to go in the drain hole. And that's just for added suction. So you want to basically get it right around that drain hole right there. Okay. And what you want to do is make sure you have suction by pushing down on the plunger. And it should be quite difficult to push down on it. So as you can see right here, actually I have suction because I can feel that when I push down, I can feel that resistance, right? And especially when I pull up, I can feel that resistance. What you're going to want to do at this point <clears throat> is you're going to want to aggressively go uh, sort of down and up for about 15 to 20 seconds um, or more, depending on how bad the clog is. Now I'm not going to do it for a full 15 to 20 seconds uh, because I'm actually uh, in clothes that I'm going to, it's before my work time right now. Um, I arrived very early, so I came to my parents' house to film this. I don't want to get full of toilet water before work. Um, but what you definitely want to do is you're, you're going to probably get, you know, splashed with some water. So just be prepared for it. So you want to aggressively go 15 to 20 seconds, just like this. All right, so you can see that I was going in and out just like that, okay? And I, I'm not going easy. You gotta be going aggressively. Just like that. And like I said, you're probably gonna get splashed, so just be prepared for it. You can probably try and stand back um, if you want, and that'll make it a little bit uh, easier to not get splashed as much. Um, but then at that point, you're gonna take out the plunger, you're gonna remove it, you know, obviously, you know, make sure that uh, you, you drip it off like that. You don't want to be getting everything everywhere. Um, and, uh, and you're going to see if the clog has unclogged, right? Um, and if it has unclogged, then you're good to go. If it didn't unclog, then you're going to put that plunger back in, put it over the drain hole, 15 to 20 seconds, just like that. Aggressively, 15 to 20 seconds. Pull it out again, see where you're at. And I can tell I was actually um, using suction power because the water is actually a little bit dirty and more dirty than when I first started um, simply because I'm pulling stuff up from inside of the drain right now, inside of the trap. There's a, a water, essentially a water trap inside of the, like a water canal inside of the toilet and I'm pulling water up from in there, right? Um, so. I know, I'm, I know that I'm doing it, but obviously this toilet wasn't clogged. But if a toilet is clogged, in my experience, because um, I've dealt with a number of clogged toilets, uh, in my experience, most of the time, it only takes one session of 15 to 20 seconds if you have the right suction and if your plunger is good. Um, if it takes a second try, usually that will work almost every single time. On occasion, you might need three or four sessions, but for the most part, one try or two tries should be more than enough. And that's it. That is how to use a plunger to unclog a toilet. Um, it's a very simple and easy process, and I've shown you how to do it in this video. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.